development process even before Springboard started. I had done a lot of self-learning before even taking the boot camp and uh, made a go at trying to interview at a couple places and just had that severe like sense of imposter syndrome and just didn't have the confidence to feel like I could um, really like walk into somewhere and, and convince them that I was worthy of getting a job. Yeah, Springboard helped me in a lot of ways. Their structured curriculum um, just kind of reassured me like, okay, like if I know this stuff, um, I think that this is pretty valuable skills to take into um, the real working environment. And that is the case now that I do have um, a job. I, I basically, I'm a front end engineer, so a lot of the front end stuff we learn like JavaScript and React and things like that um, is, is used on a daily basis. Also just like the collaboration, um, even with other students and my mentor is, an, is another really um, common thing that I've noticed that's not necessarily a technical thing I learned, but uh, more of a soft skill I picked up while going through the, the boot camp and the curriculum. And then the job search itself, uh, it's super intimidating, like there's no way to really paint it. There's just, you know, you're gonna feel like there's a million candidates out there and everyone knows more than you. Um, and I think everybody goes through that, uh, but there are great career coaches. Um, I found one I, I liked working with in particular, her name is Marcella. Um, and yeah, she was really great. She was a wizard at helping me, um, you know, really polish up my LinkedIn uh, profile and really just how to sell myself and present myself to people I'm interviewing with. I found a job when I was maybe about like 65% through the curriculum. Um, they say after you finish your first capstone, it's a good time to start, um, you know, looking at, at, at jobs. And the first couple of interviews, you know, if you can ace it, good for you, but um, they're going to be rough and it's, it's good to get that out of your system early on. I can't say enough just how great it was to have like a real software engineering mentor to just reassure you that, um, you know, you have the skills you need to succeed in this in this job, in this industry. Um, so just like a whole combination of that um, definitely made it. Uh, a lot easier than when I was trying to do it on my own. It's just like a dream come true really uh, working with like other really talented engineers, um, great product people, uh, and just you know building really cool software. I work for a company called Hospital IQ that um, makes software for hospitals basically. Um, so we try to make um, healthcare workers like happier and more efficient on a day-to-day -day basis um, in an effort to just like hopefully improve patient care and make hospitals run as efficiently and effectively as possible. So, you know, working with like data scientists and doing things like predictive analytics of like when we think a patient's gonna get discharged and um, how long a surgery is gonna take when they're trying to schedule it. Um, and working on the front end stuff for that um, is just like, you know, really uh, fulfilling and super exciting on a day to day. And, and they, you know, it sounds cheesy, but you know, if you love what you do, it, it, they don't, you know, it's really not work to me. I would recommend to anyone, you know, find a place that, um, you know, is gonna allow you to learn and grow. Um, if anybody walks into a place thinking that they know it all, um, you know, it's just not true. You're always gonna be learning in this career. Uh, and yeah, I'm just really fortunate to be somewhere where I have people that are, um, you know, willing to let me grow and, and, and learn as I go. Um, so yeah, I'm just thankful for my current company and uh, Springboards for helping me get there.